Hello guys, welcome to CAD Academy. So in this tutorial, we are going to design this stapler. Every part of this stapler has been designed in sheet metal interface with sheet hemming having 1 mm thickness. So let's start with part 1. This part, uh, let me open that part for you. So this is the part 1 which we are going to design. As you can see, this has been designed in sheet metal interface so you can unfold this and grab certain dimension for cutting out the sheet and then you can also use for drafting it or folding it also a stamp over has here has been made so that pin can be turned so let's start with this so for designing we will just go to sheet metal design uh, here interface here and you can rename your part here now you need to give the parameters of the sheet so click here on sheet metal parameters and just define the thickness of 1 mm as well as the band radius of 0.5 mm and then click here on ok now we will make the first part so for that select the, any of this uh, any of the plane here that select this xy plane now make a line here of 12 mm from the origin which is symmetrical so select this and make a line now select the constraint command over here and give the dimension as 12 mm this and for symmetry just select this point and this axis and provide the dimension of 6 mm now make a line here which will be 81 mm apart from the origin so just provide the constraint over here select this line and make this as 81 again we need to provide the dimension over here so this will be 18 mm as well as symmetrical with horizontal axis now line over here this is of 20 mm as well as the line over here is of 16 mm Now select a circular arc over here, three point arc, and select this point, this point, and make a arc over here. Okay, keep one set tangent. Now you can mirror this, select all this, and click here on mirror command and with respect to horizontal axis just mirror this now you can exit it click here on exit and uh, make a wall here so click here on wall command okay click here on okay that's it this is our wall the sheet metal wall now we will make the flange uh, over here so select the flange command here this is the flange command and select this edge as well as this edge and then you need to select this over length type outer length type and press here 14 mm again this side also select the flange command again select both of these edges and click here on ok select this extrusion command and for that we need to make a profile over here so we will make a profile on this plane select this plane and uh, just click here on normal view and make a horizontal line over here like this now select the coincident constraint and coincide this with this as well as coincide Okay, let it be this 
that's right and click here on coincident constraint sorry the constraint icon and uh, make it as 12 mm now you can click here on exit and then invert material side and invert direction now it just reduce the direction till 12 mm now same thing you need to do on this side so for that again select uh, the extrusion command and again then select on this uh, sketch icon and then select this plane now again click here on normal view and you can just mirror this line so click here on mirror command and mirror this line with respect to this plane okay it's not taking so we need to create that that it way select the line command over here and make a line here now select the coincident constraint select this point and this and make it coincide also select this point as well as this point uh, this line or point and make it coincide that's it now exit the sketch and just uh, click here on inward direction and then okay so basically this is what we have made you can unfold this so now we have to make a cut out over here and uh, we need to cut some of the parts to make a in proper shape so for that we will select this middle plane and click here on sketch okay now we need to make a circle over here so for that select the circle command and make a circle over here random circle okay now select the again this constraint command and give the diameter of 10 mm here now again click here on constraint command and provide the distance to the circle that is this vertical distance is of 8 mm as well as this horizontal distance is 4 mm that's it now make a rectangle over here whose dimension will be this edge will be 3 mm apart from this bottom line as well as coincide this with this edge and this is 44 mm sorry for that select this line and give the constraint of 44 mm now again select a line polyline over here and just make a shape like this okay that's it now select this constraint icon and just assign some constraint over here this is well and this must be coincide to this as well as this is 12 mm also okay also provide constant between these two line just uh, right click here and select this horizontal major constraint now assign the value of 7 mm and click here on okay that's it this has been constrained now what we have to do is select a polyline over here and uh, from this center point just drag it and make a rectangle okay now 
select the quick trim command here and trim this as well as this okay now you can click here on exit and select here the cut cut out click here on preview and you can see this is what we are obtaining the shape just this is creating a problem over here so for that select this polyline make it horizontal towards here and make a rectangle like this that's it now again select this quick trim command and trim this okay now you can click here on exit command and you can preview this so this is the shape what we are getting now you can create some fillet over here for that select this fillet command that corner command and you can select this edges to create the corners click here on preview and you can see the fillet has been created select this command and also make the fillet over here Just reduce the value again select fillet command assign the fillet values here also click here on preview ok let it do click here on ok So you can also unfold this by clicking here on unfold command let me see that yes this is the unfold command as you can see this is the cutout what we have to prepare for the stapler this part now here we need to provide a stamp over here for the bending of pin which we will provide later according to the part second part where the pin uh, will be impacted on this uh, surface so before that here we need to provide uh, a hole here so for that again select this plane the middle plane and select here on sketch command now you can click here on normal view and again you need to make a circle over here now again the dimension of circles are as follows this is 4 mm that is horizontal distance and vertical distance from the axis the origin is 8 mm as well as this is 4 mm now click here on exit command and uh, again select this cutout option and you can click here on preview and then ok so you can see a cutout has been made over here so this is basically our first part and uh, let me create a fillet over here because this is a corner zone ok it can't create the fillet over there in the way. so this is the first part here we will attach that uh, mechanism which is used to uh, disengage the pins the stapler pins so that we will create later on so this is first part in next tutorial we will design the second part so stay tuned thank you